Now I feel like I wasted all that time just for this. I mean, okay, legit, story-wise, this is great. I love this. But I fucking crawled through two dungeons you, to do this shit. You fool. I agree. Where are you, Taylor? There you are. Selfish fool. All right. I mean, he's already dead. And we already were kind of die. Oh. Uh huh. Wait. Uh -huh. I'm glad he took the Uslan corpse. Uh -huh. Was he actually close to like succeeding? Oh, well, not by them, I don't think. Yeah. Oh. Do I have any say in any of this, or am I just gonna chill out on the floor? <sighs> all right. Yeah. Let's tell. Let's tell tale or what for. Oh yeah. Oh, I kind of assumed he had been like a kid or something, but I guess this is more fucked. I don't know. I'm pretty upset. Without the Marinos, you have nothing to use the beacon's power on. Huh. How do we come back from this? This is a good question. I wonder... Kalia's gotta still be alive at this point. There's gotta be something Kalia's about to do. But I don't know how it's gonna actually, like, save the world. Because the only thing she has going for is she's got, like, the Black Stone thing. But that's not Numino's replacement, is it? From what I understand, the Black Stones are just, like, magic rocks. Yeah. Keep trolling him. I mean, I'm getting a kick out of it. What is it around you? Or maybe he does. He has like it turns. It starts playing JoJo music, and he's like, "Actually, this all plays into my plans." Like, dun 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 uh -huh. all burn like the sun. So, and history then, is repeating itself, because, uh, these people look like they burned, like, in the sun. Yeah, I think they were repeating history again. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Have you always been able to do that? Why haven't you been doing that more? Hey, yeah, we buddy. Oh. 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 Cool, I love being the main character. <laughs> Taylor seems more like the more in char the main character now. I cannot afford any risk. I'm I you I'm bitch. You're you're making me climb all the way back up there on my own through the fucking dungeons. The high ones are right. Uh, cannot you but do you uh, remember what the Arch Magister said? Yeah, Without so we are killing ourselves. Energy would burst out Great. direction. Cause uh -huh. a massive explosion. Yes. Taylor, did you not see all the, like, do I don't, calcified now. corpses? This is exactly Glory what the last group of people thought. The high ones are still around. This shit Whatever don't work. Actual cleansing oh, takes, ah, God, he wants to make sure it will happen. Okay, yeah, we'll do it your and way, we whatever. Profit. We may have failed in breaking the cycle What, for, for the next fucking group of morons? The, the next civilization? You bitch. The other people of this uh. world. Arazia, Kira, Kile. Oh my god. They are affected by the cycle as much as Endera. But Taylor, and I, know I had just gone on my first class. date. People who have had the same dreams oh. and feel what is about to happen. Okay, Taylor. And if we kill Koarek and his armies, we buy uh. these people time. Time uh -huh. to gather knowledge. Time to build a new beacon. It sounds nice in theory. themselves. Um... Those I don't know if I like it though. Have not yet massacred yeah. anywhere, you mean? They will die. I mean, I can teleport somewhere else outside the explosion the range, way, can't I? I still got some left. Either we die here, rotting with mm. the Pyrians, or we choose to get. Oof. The high ones are a lot weaker than they pretend to be. I feel it. I guess. So but like we've already been talking this whole time, we've been going through the same fucking pattern over and over again. Where this scum Sharif ah. made us fail. I mean, you should at least feel a little bit of time for for Shareem. Uh I mean, he does he's not wrong. Uh, I'm just going to say so, the first thing. The shepherd cannot decide the fate Okay, of well his now sheep. I feel like I picked the what right option because that really makes you sound like a tool prophet? saying that Your shit. Life 
Yeah. The life of this woman who's yeah. so dear. Uh, yeah, not quote not unquote so dear. I like her. I think she's neat. All of this uh. is about more than just. Uh -huh. That you fail to see this disappoints me, Prophet. Oh, I fought well, better I, you than that. There might have been a point where I cared about your opinion, but now I'm just annoyed. I'm I've been sorry. going through this for so long. It's not anything, like, dramatic where it's like, there was a point where I respected you, but now you've gone too far. It's just like, I've been in this shit for so long now, and I just want it to be done. I guess, if anything, maybe, like, the sweet eternal fucking nothingness of blowing ourselves up would be the better solution. I don't know. I don't even know if I can die properly. Oh, dreams. hey. You're the one that made me fucking come back to life the first time around, aren't you? Did you heal me or bring me back to life again? Is there another one of my corpses laying around somewhere in the world? I need some explanation for that, too. I would love someone to be like, Oh, hey, we can tell you why you have a corpse just sitting around. Oh, please tell me that portal goes exactly where I need it to go. I'm just gonna drink one of these for good measure. Of a high one? Oh. I hope you're joking. I love how these people will have to tell me they don't even exist in this timeline anymore, and they're still fucking bothering me if they're this words. Was their last step. Uh -huh. They are afraid of us. So the I last Taylor was a girl. Yeah, the one that she's also the one that fucked up everything. Maybe, yeah, maybe she was uh, the veiled you woman. Have just shown I don't know. Me the solution. Uh huh. Yep. Sounds like everything's going exactly the same as the last time around. I mean, like I said, I love this type of turn in a story more than anything. You're making me go through another fucking cave system. You bitch. You son of a fucking bitch. Alright, let's just let's just keep going, I guess. I'm making this episode go on extra long because I, I think this could be it. I think this could be the last episode. That or this is another Metal Gear Rising Revengeance length ending episode. It's gonna be like an hour long. I don't know. We'll sprint. We'll sprint and see how far we get. You know, between credits and dialogue, this could go on real long. That's a fucking mech. Alright, you know what? This is worth it. The game going on as long as it has been. It's worth it for the, the mech. Ooh, this is all interesting. No, what? This is impossible. You talk? That's more creepy than anything. Hey, buddy, what's I'm up? Here. What? Be gone, what? You're just... Be gone and leave Why is there a giant talking robot underground? What is then, this? Then this isn't... I don't even know. Really I'm so confused. Here. What is your deal? But why? Uh huh. The prophet dies when the emperor oh. leaves him. Oh yeah. This is the course of the game. Wait, are you somehow? It has always been so. You better not be responsible for any Explain of this shit. Oh hey, there's a corpse in there. Ah, poke. How did you yeah. find this yeah. place? I don't know. I think I I think there's some cheating going on here. I think the veiled woman kind of cheated at this. Her. Uh huh. But why? Oh. She does not have a mind. Oh, well, that's mean. She, she seemed pretty feel. nice. She seemed to have felt so things. She do this? Maybe it's Collier from the future. But I don't know. Oh. Well, that's truth. convenient. Thank I you for being able to uh, feel the truth. Then could it really Try to get like a good understanding of what this thing is. Is it a mech or is it just like a bunch of metal like shaped together conveniently? Sh sure, yeah, all of that. It was all the most unlikeliest of scenarios. Not exactly fucking, you know, planned out for this game at all whatsoever, but whatever. Uh, I'm uh -huh. sorry. Your voice is really good, by it's the way. Just wanted to let I you know that. To anyone. Uh -huh. Apparently you hallucinate people all the time, but too. I have had many names. Uh -huh. The Akarians called me the god of death. Oh. The moon skin. Oh, I was reading ahead in the... Law of uh, a dialogue. Uh, why? So you're like deep under arc, I guess. For your people, oh. I am, uh, I'm kind of surprised this is what the Black Guardian turned out to be. Guardian. Why are you called the Black Guardian? Pompous names. Yeah, I really. Know. However. Oh. I am none of yeah, you must be bored of watching this shit. Uh huh. I'm only an eye. To deal with our stupid Continued shit over and over again. again. Hey, but at least I got and to show again. you a more entertaining show. I got to be like the one to break the cycle, I guess. Time. Oh. Older than your most daring chronicles oh, go geez. back. By far. Uh, you're fucking old. Since our people fell, 
I wish you were able to do more than just sit here. I wish you could break out of the ground like the giant mech you are and just kick some ass. But no. Fucking some lame ass starlings. Oh. I was only a fool who wanted to save his Oh jeez, this whole cycle shit's been going on fucking ever. Okay. There's a lot of immortals in this universe. I kind of like it. You got the old man in the house. You got the veiled woman. Then you got this guy. It's neat. I like it. I think every good fantasy story should at least have three immortal people just chilling in the world somewhere. So I looked for another way to prevail. Yeah, you turned yourself into a mech. But a mech that can't do anything. Ah. Goliath. Why did you build a Goliath just to like be a to fucking corpse in goddamn formaldehyde up there? Alright. As the only mm -hmm. one of my people? Yeah. Yes. But it happened uh. faster than it should have. And when the cleansing uh -huh. occurred... I guess that's why he's not able Goliath to move not as, a, as a big mech. As the Emperor unleashed the light, mm -hmm. I had no choice but to complete the joining uh -huh. tour. I see. A fatal error, as it turned out. Ah, uh, ooh, that does I suck. Ah, yes. what a terrible. Wait, but so I if this had all worked, there would just be a giant fucking shit. mech walking around. That's horrifying. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Just if he had finished that, we would have had to deal with this goddamn game. kaiju machine going around. Would he have kicked the high ones' ass? Just beat them down as a giant robot? Oh. No, no, you do not understand. Oh, I'm you glad I could still be fucking up even at this point. Even now that it is all I'm really so trying, far. man, I swear. By themselves. Mm -hmm. Oh. The high ones are not the problem. Oh. If we would just see them well, as they So it's are, simpler than we're making it out to be. We don't even need a beacon, do we? We could have just been like, I don't believe in them, like that one fucking movie about Merlin. You know, the one. Yes. I don't know what it's actually called. It it's some Merlin movie where at the end of the movie they're like, if we stop believing in fantasy, we win. And that's what fucking happens, I guess. I Whoa. Ooh. Cutscene. Some of that subtitle, so Only that'll be that quiet. They are part of something we call the cycle. A civilization arises and blossoms and then, always at the same stage of their development, the high ones appear. And with them, the red madness. Just enjoying this People guy mining me. their minds. Wars erupt and chaos rules. Until two or three years later, the cleansing happens. The moment when the High Ones devour the collective consciousness, the gathered minds of this civilization, to give birth to a new one of their own. Despite all of this, Nobody knows what drives them. Perhaps they act out of malice, out of an urge to survive, or perhaps they do not even have a will of their own, but are like a force of nature. But I do know one thing, as powerful as they might be, it is mankind who gives them that power. We make them into what it, they are. It really is a matter of because believing Because what nobody understands is simple. This, the high one speed on what humanity has the most of, hey. their ego, oh. greed, pride, fear, and their everlasting search for an enemy who is responsible for all their misery. It is those traits the high yeah. ones make use of. These characteristics are what make us human, and by themselves, they are harmless. Only when we bury them, when we deny them, then they play into the uh, high So that's hands. why the whole religious thing doesn't So why work. is this, you ask? It is simple. The High Ones alone cannot make the cleansing happen. Only a human can. With the beacon. Shit. My knowledge about it is as limited as my knowledge about the cycle. Fucking knew it. it Fucking called it from the get-go. And despite what you might now believe, the ancient writings about it are true. Lit by the ones who carry the Numenos, it can banish the High Ones once and for all. 
but it can also destroy us. Because what happens when it is lit without a core is far more than an explosion. It is the cleansing, the triumph of the High Ones. And even as we speak, a human, Tianor Arintheol, has done it again. A bright light will appear from the heart of the machine and open a hole in the sky. And within hours, it will spread throughout the world and they will all feel it. A fire that burns them from within. Mm. A white light which will break through their flesh. God <sighs> damn it. Do you understand now? The High Ones have no power. All they do is to feed on our weaknesses, manipulate us into bringing about our own destruction. It is we who forge the sword that kills us, we who lead them to their victory, even though the key to salvation has always been in our hands. But instead of realizing our folly, we make the same mistake. We repeat the same fate over and over, and only because we refuse to see the truth. Yes, the High Ones are our enemy, but who wants to hear that it is our ego, that dark voice within us, that empowers them? It is so ironic. The moment we would realize all this would be the moment it all came to an end. Cool. I'm so glad that that's how this all fucking turned out. Great. Holy shit. I knew I was fucking right about that from the get go. They God reap. damn it. We saw. Uh huh. That's, that's the fucking case, ain't it? Visions. They are everywhere. Hmm. But the principle is always the same. It really goes to show that you are a fucking dumb. Into a fertile ground. The rest happens by itself. Cool. <laughs> God damn it. Okay. As much as his fucking talking about how f much we suck is is great, we're just gonna go ahead and keep like going a with the plot. Others before him. The High Ones knew exactly what they had to yeah, do. Yeah, I mean, they've had like a billion, million years of practicing dicking around with people. It's they great. Him they know how to fight. They know how to manipulate fears, people at this point. Like a figure on a chessboard. And the saddest part is Ugh. that until can someone in, Can someone quickly tell him, believe be like, uh, hey, Taylor, real quick, you're, you're doing the wrong good. thing? Huh. That was what his a fucking fear. loser. Yes. To be he should have known. They kept trolling him for being a loser. A and he was just man. playing into their hands. That was the stream the High Ones manipulated him from the moment he died. After attempting to flee from his prison on Nerim. Hmm. Wait, for a moment. Oh, he's like me. Like, no he's already no dead. Kill. He is dead, prophet. Oh, he that's what. Wait, that's what the flesh ones. The, 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 the fleshless ones are. The high ones. Oh. Just as you are. Shit. Great. Yeah. No. What's uh? What's the deal? So I'm a, a high one puppet, I guess. The methods of how the high ones influence uh. are plentiful. Huh. Red madness and their so I'm just like working, dreams like essentially working ones. for the high ones. Their mightiest tool that sucks. This sucks. I mean, it's great. I like that, but fuck. Emissaries, as they are also. Aren't the f no? I'm thinking of lost ones. That's what those if ones are called. Dies, I was like, am I just? So I guess I'm just a zombie. Has one last unfulfilled wish. A Shit, all I wanted was to fucking get to Enderal. Now I'm a prophet. Of Damn. An immaterial image of the deceased, which hmm. thinks itself real. I'm glad I finally got that answer. Such. I was wondering for the longest time what, what the no fuck was up notices. with that. Not even the projection itself. Wait. Are two things 
Okay, First my last unfilled... I don't know what my last unfilled desire was, unfilled though. Desire. Still confused on that front. Secondly, it becomes oh, I like that, though. That's, that's so fitting. Almost tailor -made to free so that's why I felt like this was an isekai the entire time. The daughters hmm. of fishermen become warriors. What? Broken generals become charismatic and driven leaders. Ah. Uh. Yeah, definitely fits. What about me? What's what's my whole thing? You are one of these projections. Uh -huh. as our oh, oh I see. I'm reading ahead again. You Liberation. Are a one. A I guess it's just the thing where you get to Liberation make it up in your head. Be like, ha ha. I do not know. <laughs> He's saying I was a. That's true, isn't it? Because before, because my character was like a minor perfect. character, and now I'm the main character. Wow, damn, dude. Tell it how it is. To you and your friend on that yeah. Ship. You never survived it. Jeez. You drowned it gave place. implications for that the entire time. Because from the get-go, when you first die, it's like... <sighs> they're talking about that, like, that brief moment of time in between, uh, like, death, where you're like, you relive an entire I lifetime. Knew the desire that drove you. Ugh. Does that mean Karak also was, died? And he's also like one of those, um, and I guess, flesh puppets? Play. I don't know. Fleshless Just ones. Better name. Uh, Do you see it now? No. Every dream I'm still confused. Every time they appeared to you, they all had but a single. Jeez. This is actually this is really good for a story. This is like brilliant. They wanted you to play the game for yeah. their purposes. Like that's and it's really see. smart how they wrote that out. You read the It's literally the like feeding into the whole like whenever you play games you. like this, you're you like, Oh yeah, you're the main your character, you're doing all this beacon. stuff, you're the most important person. And, and they, they the reference universe. that it's all a bunch of bullshit in the story he here. It's great. Be taken away from him. The very last instant, his fear of failure. Ugh, what a fucking what tool. Alright. Alright, well, cool. I'm glad we had that to. Oh, wait, no. I'm not done with the talk yet. Wait, I, I'm not necessarily. You not yeah, there you go. Profit. I'm not responsible. You did what countless others did. You're just you. a tool like everybody and you did else. Because you thought it was the right thing to do. Like a tool would. Stop Only calling me that. In all the time I yeah. Here, that means I am actually special. I am special nature. past what the High Ones decided you I would be. I really like that as like a... Um, I guess as like a character it thing. Where like the High Ones make these people that are just like the idealistic the versions of themselves. Or I guess the idealized the version of themselves. I don't know. American English is hard. Uh, yeah, can we still stop? Oh, shit. Thanks, no, it machine. Glad to hear it. By the name of the sun. It is so ironic. Ironic or inconvenient? She could have done this way earlier. It is over, Prophet. <sighs> you are strong. But Wait, what if I go in your machine? Your you just have to replay the whole game. It's like cleansing. Dark Souls or Sekiro. Eventually you just go through the dissolved. entire game again. Even if... Is that what's gonna happen? Am Wait. I gonna... Maybe no. I am gonna go inside. Maybe. He's just like, quick, Maybe get inside of me. It's like, uh, Maybe no. No, thank you. Yeah, what's the way, sir? Uh, no. Well, fuck Maybe it, don't come up with ideas if you say they're pointless, you dumbass. Forgive me, I... Uh, I have to... You're gonna have to wait a day. Great. Yes. Oh, okay, good. He's a fast thinker, unlike everyone else in what this game. I told you was true. Here on Earth, oh. you will not survive the cleansing. But there is one place So I have to go back there. The I hope you have a good throwing arm, because I do not have another starship. I know starship. that you brought something back from your journey there. Oh. The escape pods. Hmm. And I know that they oh. can also take you back there. Uh -huh. For I have seen the Yalam Rashe. The ancient starlings do so. Okay, so I just gotta get back in the Saiyan pod and for what? The city over all these what would that do for it me? Would protect you too. I yes. survive, but that's it. Could I'm the last fucking person. I don't like that anymore. I'm not even really a person from the sounds of it. Yeah. No. No, it would not. Uh. But that is irrelevant. 
Oh, that's you interesting. Freshness, a projection. Oh, because I know how to s actually stop everything. I could actually make things work the next run around. Whoa, what if that's a thing with this game where, like, you can actually start over from the beginning, but with the actual knowledge? Oh, that would be cool. Wait, how would I go? Sorry, man, I'm, I'd be the only one. I wouldn't be able to do anything from there. Uh, is this also how other immortals existed in this game? Like the old man in the house and veiled woman? Whoa. Jeez, he really wants... Ah, oh, this is that shit that makes me sad. I have to live an entire fucking, like... Not just a lifetime, I have to live a whole entire, like, civilization lifetime. Ah. This is really cool. I would really love it if that's what this game did. <laughs> Wait, this sounds familiar. This, this sounds like Lightborn stuff. This sounds also really hard to do. You would deprive the high ones of their Jeez. Power. Okay. Just imagine. This in sounds. This, world, this sounds kind of sketchy. Beacon, because the high ones simply uh -huh. would not have any strings to pull off. <laughs> Mankind will defeat them okay. by becoming superior. Dude, I don't know if you realize how hard that's gonna be. Uh. <sighs> Fuck. Do my choices actually matter at this point? There has to be another way. Yeah, because I don't want to. There's a chance Kali I might still be alive. Let's yes. save that. Yes. I regret yeah. that I did. Please. Ah, oh, my god. Right now, you want me to waste like a fucking. I don't know. How long does it take humanity to build up? Like 3,000 years. You want me to sit I around for 3,000 years teaching people how not to be dicks and become a fucking shitty god? Ah, you oh my so god. Stubborn. Okay. But I could try to break the beacon. You might be able to destroy the beacon itself. Okay, I kinda like that option. The I'd rather maybe keep this civilization around. Maybe the high ones would just kinda starve you, out. As a projection. Okay. This you is actually a two ending scenario, it. isn't it? That'd be that's it interesting. What I was thinking was that um done. this was gonna happen regardless, like I would have to uh, kind of start over, but because you know the cycle However, is the thing of it's the exact same over and over again, death. kind of gives you an excuse for New Game Plus, and you would potentially be able to change like the outcome of events by knowing how things happen from the beginning. That's also very isekai anime like. Interesting. Yes, Korik would be dead. Oh. But do you think the high ones would just give up? Yeah, you're right. Maybe it is easier to start from they scratch. They retreat for a few years, uh. decades, maybe, hmm. no more, and then it would all happen yeah, again. Yeah, no, you're right. Until you're right. I understand. Sounds pretty. Trust me. Pre sounds pretty accurate. I know humans far better than I would like to. Yeah. Within They'd a be few dumb. years, you would be forgotten, and they would win. Hmm. You make a good do. point, big robot man. Huh. <laughs> and who would that be? Hmm. Even if there were someone. There would be some person. I don't know. If you were to tell me I think this is more feasible than raising an entire fucking civilization to, like, not Does have egos. Exist? You know how hard that shit is? Also, I see like a Batman face, right? That, like, I'm circling it so it'll be pretty obvious what I see, but like, there's the eyes, there's the eyebrows, and there's this chiseled jaw. Anyways, continue, you are Mr. Robot. The inevitable. Mm. Nothing more. And you are throwing I mean, away a chance. Wouldn't I still. Well, I don't know. Again. He said I might survive being hit by the light, but I don't know. Ah, uh, fuck. Man. This is hard to say. I want to go for the option of trying to blow up the beacon to save who's around now. Because I don't know. Ah, damn. I hate it when I have an option for endings. I will not be judge, jury, and executioner. Jeez. Then you will change nothing. Jeez, maybe I picked a I bad do? ending. Uh, <laughs> I feel like a dick now. Go. I guess it is must. implying that I am just going to Deal die no matter what. It just seems like we're throwing so uh, much away by trying to ask, like, or trying to well, start the whole society over again request. without egos. Sounds very difficult. Oh, I guess this is your only opportunity for that. 
But who, how are you going to tell the next person had to do things I right? Finally rest. No. I mean, fuck, but you're lucky enough to be able to watch things from your position, like outside of this cave. You could have changed it. <sighs> but you did not. You're really making me feel bad, man. There's nothing man. I can do now. All right, you know what? Please. All right, you fucking ass. This Just command code, kill him. Uh, that was how I connected yeah, myself I to the Yeah, I fucking got it. Guilt tripping me. I'll do things right now. in my next playthrough, but jeez. I still think go. I... He's so certain. Go like, he's so certain this was a fate. bad ending. Now I feel bad. <laughs> like, shit, I guess I did fuck it up. All right, buddy. Well, it was a good talk. Glad I could make your final moments be worth it. Goodbye. Go away now, <laughs> you dick. I mean, I shouldn't feel too bad. What the fuck? Wait, why am I getting pinned to the to the wall? Is this supposed to happen? Me, you dick. Oh. All right. Well, I guess this is what was gonna happen no matter what, isn't it? I'm still upset, but I guess it means my choice didn't matter in the end. Ah. Uh, so he, w he definitely would have made me hit the button no matter what. I'm pretty certain that's it. Okay. I had a moment of, of doubt and fear, but this is fine. I guess that means I did pick the right option. Oh. Well, that's actually surprisingly nice of you, seeing how much you think I'm a fuck-up. Is this maybe where Kalia will come in and save me? K Kalia? Please save me. I don't want to be a robot. What the fuck was that? Jesus, someone just shot a- It is! Oh, fuck yeah. How did you even get over here, Kalia? Let's get the fuck on. Let's go. What did you shoot at him? A fucking- He really shot a goddamn- uh, I'm here, Kalia. Yeah, you're cheering for a bit. How did you- How did any of this- Uh, alright, yeah, yeah, you're right. Let's get out of here. Uh-huh. Hey, blame Kalia for that. That's not my bad. Fine! <laughs> I have had enough time to you practice. literally admitting you've been shooting like the cave or something all this time for out of boredom. Wait, what's uh? Oh, hit this, I guess. All right, I can do that. That's ow, 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 ow. Okay, don't hit it. Don't hit it. Ah, uh, fine. Oh, what the? Ugh. Okay, these things are quite gross. Jesus Christ. So he's just been making little gross-ass flesh golems this whole time. Uh, dude, sorry, stop shouting at me. I've got other things to think about right now. Oh uh, yeah, kill all the gross little gums. Oh, and you know what? This is actually kind of what I was talking about before, where I was like, oh man, I wish they made the fucking gross uh, Falmar look cool. This is exactly what I had in mind. Well, no, this is not exactly what I had in mind, but this is literally all it would have taken for me to be happy. Look at these. They're gross and creepy. I like it. They're better than the normal Falmar that I've seen over and over again. Uh, and we're good to start beating on this now, I guess. Ow. Does that still hurt me? Am I supposed to do this? Kali, you gotta tell me if I look stupid doing this. Um, oh, maybe this? Is this right? Ow. I'm really... Ah, oh, Kali, I'm so confused. I don't even understand. Oh, Jesus, there's a lot of stuff blowing up. Oh, speaking of blowing up, I'm gonna blow up. Jesus. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, okay. I guess I lost. Jesus, all right. You know what? Oh my God, this has been an hour long recording. I, uh, there's no way I'm gonna be able to beat anything in a reasonable amount of time. This is legit an hour long episode. I gotta, I gotta stop it here. I gotta at least take a break as well, but holy shit. Okay, I guess we'll fucking go on to the next one and see if maybe, I don't know, now I feel like I have to make the next episode at least an hour long to match up with this one, but we'll deal with that later, so yeah. This has been a Gator Snapper playthrough. See you guys in the next one. Later, everybody.